going to be a tutorial, but this one's gonna be a wee bit different. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to go from a day look to a night look, and this is a day look. Okay, I'm totally just kidding. This is definitely not the day look. It's obviously the night look, but I decided to do this for you guys because I'm collaborating with Smashbox, and they just came out with their new double exposure palette, and it is so versatile. It's perfect for both day and night looks. So I wanted to show you guys how to go from a very simple daytime look to a nice, glamorous, smoky night look like what I'm wearing right now. And this palette is perfect for that. So the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette has 14 shadows that actually become 28 shades. Once you add water, it really amps up the vibrancy and it gets deeper, it turns metallic, or it adds sparkle. So that definitely adds some versatility to the palette as well. So yeah, it's a really nice palette, very versatile, and the packaging is really nice and sleek. So along with this palette, you also get a double end brush that I did use throughout the tutorial. It's really nice for placing the product. I use this end to put a color in the crease and blend it out. And then you also get this little baby mascara. And another thing that came with the palette that I thought was very convenient is the Shapes Matter pamphlet. And it's just a pamphlet that shows you the different eye shapes. And I thought this was so convenient because I remember when I first started off with makeup, I would try to recreate looks that I saw here on YouTube and it just would never look the same. And I think it was because I had a different eye shape from some of the people that I was trying to recreate their looks. So I just thought this was very convenient, especially if you do freelance because you're all the time working with different eye shapes and stuff. So this will be something really nice to study and just kind of figure out how to do different eyeshadow looks for different eye shapes. So yeah, I just thought this was very nice and convenient. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a giveaway with the palette. So if you want more information regarding the giveaway, then be sure to stay tuned to the end. And I will also put some information in the down bar below. But if you guys would like to see how I went from a daytime neutral eye to this nice smoky nighttime look, then of course, just continue to watch. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our day look. I'm gonna start off by priming my eyes, and I'm using this primer from BH Cosmetics. And you just wanna put this all over your eyelid just to ensure that your eyeshadows last all throughout the day. Okay, so the first shadow I'm gonna apply to the lid area, and this color is a peachy kind of nude color, and I did apply this color wet, so it does make it a little bit more vibrant, but as you guys can tell, I'm just packing this color all over the mobile lid area. So the next shadow I'm gonna be applying to the crease and it's this nice medium brown color. And you just wanna take this color back and forth in your crease until you get the desired color payoff. And I love this color because it's perfect for a daytime look. It's not too dark, but it's not too light. So it still gives you a nice wash of color in the crease area. So the next shade I'm gonna be applying is more of a chocolate brown shade and I'm gonna be applying this to my outer V and I'm doing it very light handedly because I don't want it to be too dark for the daytime. So I'm just placing the color there first and once I get the color placed exactly where I want it, I'm gonna go back and blend all of that out so there's no harsh lines. All right, so now it's time to go back and blend everything together because you don't want there to be any harsh lines. So that color that you applied to the crease earlier, you just wanna make sure that you blend that out. You just wanna make sure that there's no harsh lines and that everything just blends together and transitions seamlessly so that it just looks very nice.
And now I'm using the vanilla shade out of the palette and I'm gonna be using this color as my highlight, applying it on my brow bone. Now going back in the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette, I took some of the black eyeshadow and the step that I'm doing now is just using that eyeshadow as a liner and this is really going to help make this look daytime appropriate because when you apply an eyeshadow as a liner, it doesn't look as harsh and it just looks very nice and soft. Now taking the little baby mascara that came in the Smashbox palette, I'm just going to apply one coat of mascara to my eyelashes just to kind of prep them for the fake eyelashes that I'm going to be applying. And I'm just gonna apply these lashes as close as possible to the natural lash line. And if you have any questions about any of the products that I'm using throughout the tutorial, I will have them all listed below in the down bar. And now I'm gonna prep my skin for foundation and I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Miracle Blur and I'm just applying this to like my nose area because that's where I have large pores and this really just helps to hide any imperfections. It kind of blurs them out. All right, so now I'm gonna apply my foundation and I'm using the L'Oreal Paris True Match and I'm in the shade W8 and this is a really great foundation. They have a wide variety of different shades and it blends very well. It matches my skin tone very, very well. So it is two thumbs up in my book, I love it. So now I'm gonna highlight a little bit underneath my eyes, on my forehead, and also on my chin just a little bit. And as you guys can see, I'm just blending the concealer out right now. You wanna make sure that you really, really blend out your under eye concealer so it doesn't look cakey. Then I like to go back with my foundation brush and just blend everything together so that there's no harsh lines and that everything just blends together flawlessly. So yeah, I'm just doing the same thing to the other eye. want to make sure that you set your under eye concealer so it doesn't crease. So now I'm going to contour my face a little bit and I'm using the BH Pro Powder in shade 255 and I just like to contour in the hollows of my cheeks and on my forehead a little bit just so everything can look you know chiseled and slimmed out all of that good stuff. Now applying the chocolate brown color from the Smashbox palette, I'm just going to apply this color underneath my lash line just to give the look a little bit of daytime smokiness so that it just amps it up just a wee bit for daytime. And you want to make sure that you apply a little bit of mascara to your bottom lashes as well. And for my cheeks, I'm going to be applying this Inglot blush. I'm not sure of the name, but I will have it listed below. And I'm just applying it to the apples of my cheeks. And now I'm going to apply a highlight powder to the highest points of my cheekbones just to give it that glow and to finish off the look I'm going to apply this nude lipstick from Dose of Colors and that will be our completed daytime look you guys. So now we're going to take this simple daytime look and we're going to amp it up for the nighttime. So I'm taking the shade Midnight from the Smashbox Double Exposure Palette and I applied this eyeshadow wet just to intensify it and I'm just taking this color along my lash line and this is just really going to amp up the look and just really give it more of a nighttime look. So 
the next step is to take the same black eyeshadow and apply it to your crease. Now, when working with a black eyeshadow, you want to make sure that you start off light and then build your way up. That way, you don't, you know, look like you got soft in the eye because if you start off with too much, it might just ruin the entire look. So, start off light and then build up the intensity. So, once you've placed that black color there, you want to go back and blend that color out just so that everything is just really nice and flawless so that there's no harsh lines. You want to make sure that you really blend out that crease color. So now taking the lighter brown out of the palette, I'm just going to apply this to the crease above the black color so that it has more of a gradient effect. As you guys can see, it goes from the brown to the black, so it really gives a nice transition. And I'm also going to take the exact same black eyeshadow and I'm going to apply it to my lower lash line. And once you've placed that black eyeshadow, you want to make sure you go back and blend. I know I keep saying blend, but that is definitely the key to a seamless application. And now just to amp it up a little bit more, I'm going to add an additional set of lashes. And these are the same red cherry lashes that I used earlier. So that is our nighttime look, ladies and gentlemen. And there are both the daytime look and the nighttime look together. So which do you prefer? Are you more of a daytime girl or a nighttime girl? Be sure to leave a comment below. So now it's time to talk about the giveaway. We are going to be giving away one of the Smashbox Double Exposure palettes. And this giveaway is going to be done via Twitter. And all you have to do is follow myself, Nitra B, on Twitter and also Smashbox. And give us a tweet telling us something that you want to change about your makeup in 2015. Make sure that you use hashtag change something. I'll have all of the information listed below in case you guys, you know, need a few more details. But that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.